Uy, aquí. Hello. Very good. Good, bad. I have a, a busy day. A really busy day. <laughs> you had you had a busy day. Yeah, really busy. Why? I'm Tell us. I'm tired. Why? Because I I have to train to someone to someone else. And it's difficult because I have to explain everything, everything. And if she doesn't understand, I have to repeat it a lot. And I, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like it because I'm, um, I don't know, impaciente. How impatient. can I tell you that? Oh my impatient. God, I'm impatient. Oh. Patient. I am patient. Sorry, but where I am. <laughs> Don't worry. It happens. And how was your day? How was your day? Sorry, I, I can't join yesterday. <laughs> you couldn't join us yesterday, <laughs> because right? I fell, yeah, because I fell asleep and I don't know how. Because uh, <clears throat> I had dinner and then mm -hmm. I just set, set up on in my bed and then I don't remember anything. What happened next? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I don't remember. Goodbye, and when world. I went, when I woke up it was eleven o'clock and I oh my God I lost the the, the class. Oh my god <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so next time that I that we don't see Blanca, we're going to call her, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best, the best option. And she has a, her cell phone in silent mode, right? <laughs> so yeah, I I, I don't uh, know that I was fell asleep, but because that's why I don't put an alarm. You don't set yeah. up an alarm. Yeah, it doesn't I, happen normally. Got it. Hey, we got a new student. Oh no, it's Francisco with a new haircut. Looking, Welcome. looking, looking younger. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Diana in her bedroom. <laughs> Hi. Her good famous evening. bedroom. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> How are you doing, Freddy's? I'm fine. You're doing great. Okay. Carla? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Just fine. Fine. Just fine. Okay. Good to know that. It is day, but everything is was fine. Okay. I'm glad to know that. Uh, Brenda, what about you? This screen is gonna kill me, kill my eyes one day. It's too dark, too light, too strong sometimes, and I have to be changing right there. The intensity of the brightness. Let's check. Um, Jackie, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, uh, Juan Jose, <laughs> nice to see you. How are you doing? Fine. Fine. Fine, although, yes. Okay, got um, it. I am, I am very, uh, um, I am um, in this moment uh, with uh, our remodeling the the office and finish we are mm. stay better okay thank you for sharing uh hope that everything is finished soon uh let's check who's next uh laura can you hear me 
Good evening, yes. Good evening. I'm just okay. coming uh, home from, from my work, yes. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Um, let's check who's next. Janari? Ruth says that she's working, but she's there. Okay, good evening. Karen? Bon appetit. Hello, everybody. Okay, enjoy your snack. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> on with Jennifer. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Is everything okay today, Jennifer? Yes, everything okay, teacher. Thank you for asking. Okay, you're welcome. Miguel Angel, welcome. What happened yesterday? Hello, teacher. Uh, hi. hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening. Uh, yesterday, I, I have uh, I have, have a problem with my uh -huh. internet. Today is the same. It's the same thing because my care is turned off for this reason. Okay, uh, let me check. I understand. Yeah, thank you for telling us about it. And it's good that you're here today. So, uh, problem solved, right? Mariela? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Harvin, are you there? And sure. yes. Okay, perfect. So we're ready to go. Okay, now I see you, Mariela. Very good, Jackie. Relax at home. Okay. I think that without the, the pandemic, we wouldn't we wouldn't have had this kind of experience, right? Of uh, learning at home, working at home, doing a lot of things at home. But didn't you experience that there was a moment that you really wanted to go back to your job, to the office or to the place where you usually work after some month? Mm. Mm -hmm. No? Really? Not really? <laughs> okay. For me, no. <laughs> well, I, I think it depends on the kind of job you have, right? Because for me, for example, being a teacher and not seeing all my students connected, not interacting with them, not checking that everybody was working, was complicated. Uh, so the teaching is difficult when it's online and students are teenagers. So <laughs> you can imagine, right? Uh, but with you it's different, obviously, right? You're adults, you're professionals, you're, I mean, you're working, right? So you are responsible people. Uh, so I don't have to be pushing you, right? Like, Karen, are you there? Do you do your homework? Uh, so it's, it's, it's a different story. Okay, and I think that for, for us as adults, it's even a benefit, right? Because normally we don't have time to study another language because of schedule, because of responsibilities, because of children, husband, wife, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, with this modality, uh, more people have access to, to learning. So that's the benefits, okay? Now we're going to get started. I'm going to call out your names so that we can check, we can take the attendance and then I'm going to explain you what we're going to be doing today. So uh, first person in the list, Beatriz, welcome. I'm here, thank you. Okay, Elizabeth. Not here yet. Mariela is there. Present. Okay, Brenda. I don't know what's going on with Brenda because I think I saw her connected. But I, you know. She's sleeping. 
<laughs> so we can call her. Okay, so yeah. let's go on. Uh, Carla? Hi, teacher. I'm here. Diana? Present. Floor? Floor is not here yet, so we're going to continue with the next one. Francisco. Present. The new Francisco. Laura? Present, teacher. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. Harbin? Present, teacher. Good. Jennifer? Jennifer, I think she's there, but maybe she went to look for some water. Juan Jose? I'm here. Karen? Good. Maritza? Present teacher. Norlene? Now here, we continue with Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Rolando. Not here yet. Ruth. She said she's there. Okay. Suleima. Not here yet. Janari. I'm here. Jackie. I'm here. Blanca. I'm here. And Freddy's. Brenda is texting in the chat. Okay. What does she say? I'm here, teacher. <laughs> okay. So, thank you, uh, Brenda, for letting us know about it. So, let's go on. Um, so, we're going to get started with today's class, let me share the screen with you. Okay, uh, here we have, let me check, I'm going to eliminate this from here and put it right here. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is to quickly just try to remember everything we did. Remember that we played a game yesterday? Yeah, trivia. Yeah, yeah. trivia. We played the trivia? No, we didn't play the he trivia yesterday. Hangman. We played hangman. the hangman. Okay, we played the hangman. That's correct. What else did we do? Uh, we were learning about shouldn't be and. Shouldn't? No, mm. wouldn't. Wouldn't it mm. be better? <laughs> wouldn't it be better? Uh -huh. Wouldn't be better? would be better um, in other expressions, right? Alternative expression that we can use to give suggestions or ask, right? For alternatives. For example. Would you prefer? Would you prefer? What else? Would you prefer? Uh-huh. Wouldn't it be better? Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be better to? And it would be good if, so we talk about that conditional form, okay? And we use the past. We had a discussion, we had a lot of examples. I asked you questions, you created, you invented questions, okay? Using these alternatives and we practice, right? And we practice. Besides that, uh, we completed the exercise, right? That was the same that is in, on the platform. And today we're going to continue with the session number 14, that is evaluating procedures. 
Evaluate. Evaluating procedures. What comes to your mind when you when you hear that? Evaluating procedures. What comes to your mind? If you think about your job or your work experience, what comes to your mind? Um, the work that has to be done for a supervisor, maybe. Okay, probably it's a, it's, a, it's a job that has to be performed by a supervisor, that's correct. Uh-huh. Or to how, uh, how do you say incremental salarial? A salary raise. raise. A salary a raise. Salary raise. Uh huh. Yeah, also, that's a possibility. What is the purpose of evaluating procedures? Can you please write? Can you, can you please write down the answer in the chat so everybody can read your opinion? Okay, a simple sentence. What is the, the purpose in your opinion, right? What is the purpose of evaluating procedures at work? What is the purpose? Okay. If you think that is to, to fire people and hire new people, write it down. If, do you think that's the, the purpose? <laughs> Making the, the employee's life more complicated. What is the purpose of evaluating procedures? Okay, to improve the procedures that what Karen says. Okay, please write your answer in the chat, a little message. Okay, like if you are chatting through WhatsApp. When you know if your work is good or bad. Okay, to know, right? To know if your work is good or bad. Okay, that's a good definition. Suleyma says to improve the skills that every employee has. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Ready to see if you are missing a step in your procedure. Okay, that's another good point, right? Maybe somebody forgot to do something. So when you evaluate, you realize about that. Floor says, um, well, it tells employees, right? How to deal with the situation and when. And Miguel says to promote it to a new job. Yeah, evaluating procedure, so they say, uh, Beatrice did an excellent job uh, last year. So I think that she deserves a better position or she deserves a salary increase, right? Janari uh, says for the skills. Okay, good answers, really good answers. Okay, whatever you think, write it through the chat. Okay, I'm going to make sure to read everything. All right, so let's go on. Where the next one? Okay, chat, uh, to know what can be improved. Very good. Uh, Blanca says to have patience with the new employee, okay, to get better uh, to get the better continuous, that's what Juan Jose says, to give training to the staff. Okay, that's another perspective. Okay, excellent. So in summary, yeah, that is the point of, of uh, evaluating procedures, right? To improve things, to help the employees, to help the company. Normally that is a purpose, okay? So to look for quality. Also, that can be another perspective, right? To look for quality in the products or the or the services that are being offered to the customers, right? Now, uh, we're going to continue. And uh, something that we couldn't do yesterday, but we will do today is um, to discuss about what index procedures you have or you consider are the correct ones and then uh, to express your opinion like saying wouldn't it be better to uh, consider the addressing the customers first and then uh, setting the table because customers are more relevant than the tables okay so that discussion but before that as I always tell you right we're going to talk 
So I need you to activate your English uh, skills. So uh, let's talk about famous people. So we're going to do guess who, guess who. So I want you to write down the name of two famous people, two famous people, in, or think about two famous people. You can write it down in your notebook, that's okay. And what you're going to do is very simple. You are going to make a description and your classmate is going to, your classmates are going to guess who you are talking about. So you are going to give some information, okay? Maybe three pieces of information uh, or four, depending on whatever you want to, to share. And then they will try to guess who you are talking about. So you never mention the nationality, okay? So you can give some clues. So from three to five clues, that's enough. If they don't guess it, you tell them, ah, okay, so my, the, my famous person was this. Uh, Beatriz says to change procedure to get a new job or occupy a new position in the workplace. All right, I'm going to start, okay? I'm going to describe, it can be someone famous who is alive or someone famous who already dead, who already died, right? Someone who is dead. So uh, for example, uh, he was someone really famous in music. Uh, he was from the United States and he was a role model for the majority of the pop singers, but he died some years ago. Do you know who I'm talking about? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson that's correct. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to describe two people, maximum three people, okay? Uh, the idea is Sorry, two because- I, you... I can I can hear the clue. Ah, I said that it was someone famous who was, uh, well, someone famous in music. Uh, he was a role model for a lot of people and uh, he was from the United States and he died some years ago. And people said Michael Jackson, the king of pop, right? So um, that's what you're going to do. And you will be in groups of three. So there will be more people, okay? Talking about other famous people. So write down two people and think about some characteristics, right? To describe that person and your classmates will try to guess who you are talking about. So simple as that. Questions? No. No, okay. So as we are 22, I'm going to create seven breakout rooms and you will have exactly, you will have exactly five minutes, okay? Five minutes to talk and share your famous person and the rest will try to guess. Okay, so uh, ready, set and go. Guess who? Okay. Ruth, Jackie, Suleyma, and Elizabeth, you can join the breakout rooms. Okay, two here, two here, three, three. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, I'm still late. I'm still at work, but I have to be at home around 25 minutes, and I can participate when I am when I arrive at home. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thanks for telling me that. Drive safely. <laughs> Thank okay, you. see you in a moment. 
is hello Hi, teacher uh -huh. so in your case okay. you can you can describe three people because you are only two so you have more time okay so you can describe okay. three famous people okay okay hey. uh, first. <laughs> ladies first that's right okay, okay. ladies first. okay thank, thank you i'm going to tell you some characteristics some information okay. about a famous person. Three, okay, okay? three famous people because three. you are only two, so you have more time. Okay. Okay. You are only okay. two in the group. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to start. Okay. And she's from Colombia. Okay. Hello. I was thinking so, about it. Yes. Guys, so because of because you were only two in the in the in the breakout room, you can describe three people, okay? So you have more okay. time to practice, okay? If you finish and okay. you want to do more, it's okay. It's, you still have time. Okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Harbin, uh, I don't like Marvin. Well, he has his own movie, Captain America. He has mm. three movies, I think. And then oh. it's Avengers too. <laughs> okay. I didn't watch any, any oh Avengers. God. Exactly. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's why. Sorry. Okay. They don't guess, yeah. teacher. They don't guess my. my... Uh, huh? You were talking about <laughs> Steve Rogers. Yeah, yeah. Chris Evans. Uh, Chris Evans. Chris, uh, I the same. <laughs> I didn't know. That. I think it will be more. It will be easier to say someone to BTS because <laughs> you say that. <laughs> okay, Anna, could you like to try? Yeah. Okay. Ah, Jackie Chan. Yeah, <laughs> that was easy, huh? Yeah, that's an easy one. And the other one. Okay. He's bald-headed, and he makes movies. He is? Bald-headed. What is that? He's bald. He has no hair. No hair. Ah. Ah, I uh, think oh, that um, was nice. From what country? Where is he from? He's from the Where USA. He, from? he makes movies. He loves cars. In this Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the last one. Go ahead. Ah, uh, it's my turn. Okay. Or Brenda, either. Oh. She is a really tall girl, and many people compare her with a, a snake. She's it's a girl. She's tall. She's tall. She's blonde. Uh, that it's important. They were watching the news. Yeah, I don't like the news. I don't. I never. I never see the news. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I, when I have time, I prefer to, to see Netflix, Amazon Prime, something like that, but never knew. Yes, but I, I, I saw the, the same news about Britney. Mm -hmm. She's crazy. She needs her father. <laughs> so let me think another one. Mm, this is a handsome man. He sings in Spanish, and recently he turned on 53 years, and all my generation in forest love him. Mm -hmm. um, and he sings uh, pop music. He has many romantic songs. Mm -hmm. And he's very, very good dancer. Cheyenne. Yes. <laughs> Cheyenne, that's right. Oh, I love him. 
Mm. I my friend is she's in love with him. She <laughs> loves me Shai. too. Um, music country, music country. Uh huh. Uh, maybe uh -huh. don't like the music country. Um, he is he is an actor too. Is an actor too. And I remember one song that say the uh, um, to the in the song say one part of that say promise me song not to do this in I've done say the, mm -hmm. the the song and promise me song if you not can. to do the okay. things I've done uh -huh. yes okay it's, it's very very uh, um, nice this song what away from trouble if you can say the song and do you do you <laughs> know who is <laughs> Teacher, teacher, no. teacher, <laughs> Say it, teacher, teacher, because teacher. Tell them, tell them, Juan Jose. <laughs> Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Kenny Rogers, that's correct. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it was difficult. Because a teacher know who is he. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because I like music. <laughs> and to all for the new the new flavor. okay all right so welcome back okay from the breakout rooms uh rolando you almost made it on time right to be in the breakout rooms however uh i think that you got the idea of what your classmates were doing right yes teacher i understand the, the exercise okay can you please describe someone famous without saying the name and we will try to guess, except Michael Jackson, because I already did that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, his skin is cream. Mm -hmm. he's, he's frozen. Yeah, you're frozen right now, but not like the movie. <laughs> Let it go. Let it so go. maybe if, if you turn off the if you turn off the camera, maybe Rolando? I think I think it's Hulk. It's the Hulk. Hulk. It's the Hulk. Or the Grinch. <laughs> or Sub Zero. Now that the Mortal Kombat is or maybe, popular again. Um, or maybe <laughs> Shrek. Sure. Or maybe Shrek. Um. <laughs> Probably a laugh. Yeah. So uh, I'm back. <laughs> I have, problem. I, I have problem with my internet. Okay. But, so. uh, okay, is Shrek the whole? Yeah. Is Shrek. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't talk, tell you anymore, but yeah, I thinking in Shrek. Okay, you were thinking of Shrek. Okay, yeah. who, would like to, who would like to give a, a little uh, description to the class? And everybody will try to guess it. Maybe one that you think is a little difficult. Like, ah, I know. Uh, okay, Blanca first, and then we're going to go with Juan Jose. People who work with Juan Jose, please don't say anything because the description that he made <laughs> up was very good. Okay, so. Uh, I don't remember the names. Okay, don't worry good, because better. We don't remember the name. Okay, so it's going to be easier. Uh, Blanca, you start, then Juan Jose, and then uh, we have Beatriz, who wants to make a description, give a description, right? Okay, so? I have to tell the descriptions that I mm -hmm. give in the chat room. Uh, if you want, if you have another one, that's okay. Breaking. In the breakout rooms, uh huh. Okay. Mm. And breakout rooms. If it is Chinese, <laughs> we know that it's uh, BTS. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 because there are they are Korean guys. No, it's the same. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. It's not <laughs> the same. I, okay. I get I get offense when the people tell me, "Are you are Mexican?" Okay, and that's the same with they. Okay? No, you you look like from the U.S. You. you don't I look, look Mexican. I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I look at you. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, it's um, 
I'm going to describe a woman. Uh -huh. She's beautiful. <laughs> okay, that's a specific. She, yeah. <laughs> She's too much beautiful. Mm, She's an actress and she played a hero, a superhero. That she's blonde. Okay. Blonde. That, that's all mm. I wanted to say. Blonde. Mm. Beautiful and a hero. I, I know the answer. Who is she? Oh, no. Beautiful. Natasha. Wonder Woman. Uh -oh. Yes, Scarlett uh, Johansson. It's Johansson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she's, she's, she's blonde now? Okay, got it. So, no, uh, I don't know. She has different she's colors. natural blonde. Ah, natural okay, blonde. got yes, it. Yes. Didn't know that. <laughs> but yeah, she's beautiful. I, I agree with you. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Uh, Beatriz? Teacher. Hi. Teacher. You don't answer my question. Who you prefer? <laughs> Who is I better? Didn't, I didn't hear the question. Ah, Gal you Gal asked me about Black Widow or yes, Gal Gadot or Scarlett Johansson, remember? Ah, oh but you were, I thought you were talking about the movie. So if it is about the movie, Gal I prefer Widow. Wonder Woman. If it is the actress, I prefer Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> That's the <laughs> truth. Yeah, <laughs> but if you ask me who, do you, who is your favorite celebrity, I will yeah. tell you uh, Beyonce. That's my number one. So, oh my God, I yeah. love Beyonce. <laughs> you see, I have different uh, preferences depending on the area, right? So, um, <laughs> let's see. Why are you laughing, Diana? Okay, we continue with uh, Beatriz, he, right? So, he gets offense. <laughs> She gets offense because you prefer she, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> to Gal Gadot. Ah. Yeah, to Gal Gadot. Ah, it's because, because she has the Wonder Woman style. Okay, I can see now. <laughs> 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 okay. Unfortunately, we're not going to be in, in, in the curse uh, for Halloween, right? Because we could have dressed up with our favorite character. Yeah. Yeah, that would be, that would be cool. So, um, Beatriz, please go ahead. Yes, uh, she she born in the United States. Okay, she was uh, born in the U.S. She's a singer. Mm -hmm. uh, she's blonde. Mm -hmm. uh, her 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 uh, her Higher. hair is blonde. Her hair is blonde. Is she crazy? Britney Spears. Uh, no. No, she's she, not crazy. Ah, so it's not Britney. No, <laughs> uh, she's a she's an actress. She's a, she's dancer, and what? she dancer, she actress. sang a song. It's called Material Girl. Oh, <laughs> I know who that Madonna. is. Madonna. Madonna, that's right. Okay, yeah. excellent. Good. Thank I you. I thought it was Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. maybe. She, yeah, similar. But she's crazy too, I also. I yeah, so it's, it's not Miley Cyrus, that's right. It's Hannah Montana. So we continue with Juan Jose. <laughs> okay, uh, it's, um, it's a man. Uh -huh. That in this moment, maybe uh, he he's... Um, 70, 70 years old, maybe. Uh -huh. He's old. Uh, he's an uh -huh. actor. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, he's an actor. He's a singer. Uh, actor and singer. Uh, one, one, and the, the son and teacher. You, do you know? Do you know the the, the man? Oh, then. Uh, the, the, uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh, the one of um, the son is the coward of the county. Uh, and the type of music. Is is um country country music country yes country music I'm too young for uh, that. excellent Sorry. excellent actor. <laughs> who who no, 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 I don't know she I'm said that she's too young, young for that for the description that that Diana <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I, I, I was describe, describing the, the part of song that promised me son not to do the thing I done. Um, He's the most he famous the country singer from the U.S. Yes, not mm -hmm. I don't mean your wit if you turn the other cheek. No, I, uh, I hope you are old enough to understand. Mm -hmm. uh, say the song. So, so nobody knows. So what, what, what was the name? The uh, song, the last... power of the country. Power no, of the what? country. Trump. Diana is Google. Is it Trump? It's, it's, it's yeah, Google. she's Googling. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, Juan Jose, what is the name? It's Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. Okay. Uh, I and, didn't have an idea. And uh, I think Put that the, sound, the, last, the last is the last is. One of the last descriptions that I heard uh, was by Karen. Go ahead. I know you want to say that again. <laughs> okay, he's a he's a singer. Mm -hmm. He's a very handsome man. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, the most handsome. <laughs> okay. He recently. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh Chayang. Chayang. <laughs> it is. Okay. It is. No. He's 53 years old, okay. but he's oh better than two from 25. Oh my God. Okay. How old he's is he? Good. Excuse me. Blanca, she is she really three? good at guessing. 53. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next time I'm going to create a breakout room for women and one breakout room for men. Okay, so that <laughs> you, you talk about that. In Mexico. Okay. Uh, no, Chang is not from Mexico. I think he's from Chile. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. Puerto Rico. Okay. From Venezuela. No. Puerto no, Puerto Rico. Rico. I think. Yeah. Okay. So now don't get distracted, please. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thinking about these famous people, you can listen to their music and watch the movies later. Now we're going to go on <laughs> with the next one. So as uh, as I was telling you, right? So something that we're going to be doing is to uh, well, uh, tell me well with a reaction uh, if you liked or this activity or not. Okay. Guessing who? Guess who? I want to know your opinion. Okay, so yes, around five people say, okay, good, there's a reaction. So we're going to go back to uh, what I told you yesterday. A promise is a promise, right? So in a moment, we're going to do the trivia, but before the trivia, okay, we're going to complete the exercise. So basically what we're going to do is just to express, right, in, in purse, uh, I need you to uh, organize the procedures according to your opinion, okay? From uh, number one to number, let's say number three. From number one to number three. Which ones do you think are the most relevant procedures from the list? Choose three. The number one is the most important, number two is the second most important, and number three is the third most important in your opinion from this. So in your notebook, please write down the top three uh, procedures in a training manual in a restaurant. Okay, choose only three and write them in your notebook. Okay, number one, the top, number two, the second, number three, that would be the last one in your opinion. Okay, I will give you 30 seconds more. 30 seconds. Okay. 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, stop. 
So the time is up. So you have the top three uh, procedures that must be in a training manual in the order that you consider is the best one, okay? That are That is the most relevant, from the most relevant to the least one. So what are you going to do next? You are going to uh, do the exercise number six. I am going to send you to the breakout room in pairs. You are going to tell your partner the top three uh, procedures and you are going to express your opinion about that. Using would be better to give an opinion, to give a suggestion that would be a better alternative or a better option. For example, let's suppose that I'm working with, uh, I don't know, with Harbin, right? So I tell Harbin, okay, my top three uh, uh, is, number one, uh, addressing the customer. Number two uh, is the setting the table. And number three is the dress code. An example, okay? So, um, and then Harbin can tell me, hey, sure. Wouldn't it be better if the, instead of setting the table, you include the taxes and tips, for example, uh, because is more relevant for the customer or for the for the waiters uh or wouldn't it be better to have the dress code in the second place and the uh, setting the table in the third one so or you can say an expression right an opinion i think it would be better uh, to change the number two to the number three, or I think it, it it would be a good idea, right, to eliminate the number three and add the, I don't know, let me check, add um, prevention of accidents and safety because that can happen in the restaurants. So that's what you're going to do, okay? You are going to express your opinion about your classmates' top three procedures. Is that clear? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, yes. okay, thank you. So you're going to use the uh, expressions that we practiced yesterday, right? It would be a good idea, it, it, wouldn't it be better? Uh, I think this is a better option, right? So you are express whatever you think. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now. So we're going to have 11 breakout rooms. Let me check, 10 breakout rooms. Beginning in three, two, one, go. You have three minutes to do this. Three minutes. Teacher, can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, I think we lost connection. Freddy, are you there? Teacher. Hi. Hello. Hello. Ready? Teacher. I can hear you. Tell me. Can you hear me? I yes. have audio problems. Mm -hmm. I can't hear anything. What are you saying? Oh. Okay, so maybe in this case, but I will send you a message. Hello, hello. 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 So hello. I need, uh, wait a second. I think somebody had problems with the breakout rooms. Uh, so I'm going to send you to another breakout room, okay? Freddy's, you go to the breakout room number five. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Diana, you go to the breakout room number three. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, Juan Jose, accept the invitation, please. Uh, please, Laura. That would be my Teacher, I lost the connection. Okay. I'm going to send you again, yeah, don't worry. I'm checking that right now, Laura, Bert, okay. Perfect. Yes. Check over here. In my case, the number two is following the schedule. Following the schedule. And number three, you tell me what? And uh, number three for me is prevention of accident and safety. Because if you don't have the, um, the good condition of your restaurant, uh, okay. you, don't, you, you never have uh, customers, okay. you have a bad reputation, of accident or something, for example, or if you don't have a good prevention, you're going to be a, you, you're going to have a, a bad reputation and you, you, you never have a, a customers. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. For example, in my case, um, the order uh, is a prevention of accident and safety. Um, Next one, uh, maybe dress code. And the last one is uh, following the schedule. This is my, yeah. my... I'm agreeing with you because you have to be very organized to to give a um, quality of service. Okay. In your case, uh, would, it be, be, uh, would it be better uh, put... Um, Prácticamente, eh, put the, the table when, when the paper, mesero. Yes. Yes, yes, that's true. Sorry, I, I, I won't okay. break a room. Uh, when you say mesero, is waiter. Waiter. And yes. for a woman, when, is waitress. Okay, when the waiter put the all utensils with when we use in for the dinner or the lunch or or whatever say of meals. If if we arrive to the restaurant and uh, and the table is complete. Yes, the impression that you have. So for me, it's important. Yes. Oh, well. <laughs> what happened now, Diana? Oh, nothing Diana, important. Diana is always, is well, always is mine <laughs> when he go back. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe she's, I don't know. I'm she's... always talking when you, when you say that we have to come back to the main session. session. <laughs> ah, okay. I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> One more time. Okay, yeah. so perfect. Now that you did the exercise, okay, I checked different breakout rooms and you were doing a really good job, right? Expressing your opinion. 
I'm just going to ask one volunteer, okay, to give us an example about his or her top three, okay? So as Diana didn't finish talking, I'm going to give her the chance to say the top three that she has from the procedures. Okay. Talking with my, with my partner, mm -hmm. uh, prevention, prevention of accidents and safety is the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is addressing customers. And the last one, getting to know the menu. Getting to know the menu, okay. So does anybody have any opinion or suggestion for Diana's uh, top three? In my case, it's similar. Similar, would you give any recommendation yes. to, to Diana? No, no, only that the, the three, um, the three uh, procedures that she said is like um, to me. Okay, in that order, safety. Uh, yes. Yes. In then the you said order. addressing the customer and uh, getting to know the getting menu. to know the menu. Okay. Yes. So okay, so you got it, really good. A lot of people agree with that order or that top three, Diana. Thank you so much for sharing, okay? Class for everybody. You are doing a great job, guys, and I appreciate that. Okay, so congratulations. We're going to move on now. Uh, promise is a promise, and as I said, you already did the exercise. That means you deserve to finish with the... Guess what? What's next? Trivia. That's correct. We're going to finish with the trivia, finally. <laughs> But before that, I'm going to tell you a joke. I'm not very good at jokes, so I was looking for some. Um, it's a little story, right? When I was young, I didn't like going to weddings. My grandmother would tell me, you're next. However, she stopped doing that after I started saying the same thing to her at funerals. I know. <laughs> Okay, so that's a, a no, joke. So bad, teacher. Yeah, it's the it's a, it's a website that I found. Okay. Uh, but, it, but it's good when you don't want to marry. And that's the way, that, that's a good way to shut up the people. Ah, yeah. Not okay. your mother. I'm going to say another one. Aren't you, wearing, aren't you wearing your wedding ring on the wrong finger? Yes, I am. I am married to the wrong woman. Oh my God. And vice versa, right? You can do that for men. I'm, mar I'm married to the wrong man. So that's what I have in the opposite. You can say that. That's okay. a good one. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, another one. It's, this is nice. Teacher uh, in a class, right? The teacher says, Maria, please point to America on the map. And she said, This is it. Well done. Now, class, who found America? And the class says, Maria, Maria. Did. okay so we're going to move on that was the, the funny funny part of the of the day now we continue with the tree yeah so um here we go we have the last two categories right as you remember that were science, science. and technology, technology. So uh, as we have this division, right? Sometimes we're going to give the chance for um, women. What do you prefer, science or technology? Girls, ladies, senoritas? Technology. Mad mademoiselles? Technology, science. okay. I, I take the first one, uh, Blanca said technology. So technology will be for, for women and science for men. Okay, so girls, versus boys. Huh. I'm going to generate control. Con <laughs> okay, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a controversial trivia now. Okay, so girls, uh, which one do you want first? No Google, no Google, okay? <laughs> and only one one answer per no person. Yeah, no, so no if Google. Blanca no, no, no. answers the, the, the first one, she cannot answer the second or the third one. So. Um, which one do you want first? We go for 100, right? So, uh, ladies, 300. 
You're going to get it anyways, don't worry. So uh, 300, perfect. Wait a second, I'm going to take notes. I had my agenda here. Okay, bad boys versus good girls. No, I'm going to say Backstreet Boys versus Spice Girls. Um, <laughs> Spice Girls. Spice Girls. <laughs> Spicy girls. The young okay. people don't know that group. Ah, true. I'm going to say I, BTS I think versus Diana doesn't, doesn't know it. Uh -huh. Yeah, we need to. One Direction versus, um, I don't know, uh, another band. So, Backstreet Boy. No, come on. You need to know Backstreet Boy. You're not 20. Destiny, Destiny Child. Who is the youngest one in this group, by the way? Is anybody 20? No? 21? 28. 22? Everybody 20. Oh my God, Diana, 24? you have 28 and you don't know. <laughs> 24? The old group. No? Oh, 25? Right. 26? 27? Teacher, I think that Mer Merlin is, is the younger, but I the youngest. I, I don't remember. Ah, she's like, okay. Yeah, she's like 21, I think. Really? Wow, that's very young. Okay, yeah. So, uh, after, so Diana, you are the next one. Then you are say that you're 28, no? Eight, yeah. Ah, okay. So you are the youngest one right now. Yeah. With the, I, I think. Am 28 too. Who? Lord. I do not, I don't see the faces right now. I just hear voices in my head. Flora. Ah, okay, Flora. Okay, so Flora and Diana are the same age. Okay, good. So, um, you so you know about Backstreet Boys, okay? Yeah. Backstreet Boys, boys, yes. Yeah, yeah. Spice Girls, probably not. Okay, so Backstreet Boys versus <laughs> Destiny's Child. Okay. Um. So, girls, three hundred. Question is, no Google. Okay, you have five seconds. Uh, which company produced the first mobile or mobile phone? That's for Nokia. Who? Girls. Five. Nokia. Four. Nokia. Are you Motorola. Sure? Nokia. Three, two, one. I mean, Mo Nokia or Motorola? Motorola. Motorola. Nokia. Motorola. Okay, three people say Motorola, one person says Nokia, so I'm going to take the majority, right, for democracy. So you say Motorola, and the answer is Motorola. That's correct. So mm -hmm. one point, <laughs> well, 300 points for ladies. Yeah, yeah. Next one. Yeah. Uh, we continue with boys. Uh, 300. 300. What has no electric charge and is one of the fundamental particles making up an atom's nucleus? <laughs> And Scott, we didn't choose that. Oh my God. It's really? Or with his question, it's really? Yeah, it's real. Who's the proton? A neutron. 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 English. Okay. Neutron. 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 Are you sure? Neutron. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Blanca, don't help the boys. And yeah, yes, sorry. it's a neutron. Okay. Nah, nah. Hey, they win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 300, 300. So we continue. Technology, nah. girls, 200. My God, what In is... what year was the first iPhone released? Really? Five seconds. Five, four. I don't three, know. Two, two thousand. One. Thousand Time's two. up. 2002. Seven. No. 2002, 2007. 2002, it could be, uh, I don't know. Okay, so two people say 2002 and one person says 2007, so I take 2002. And the correct answer, Seven. I'm sorry, was 2007. Oh so, no point. <laughs> now sorry. Brenda is, is angry. Okay, you didn't listen to her. So, sorry. let's point continue. For men's. Point for men. No, it's it not point for men. Like they lose men the point. Blanca, no? please don't help them. I'm going to say that <laughs> I don't want to help. Okay. Sorry. So in this case, uh, we go with the boys. 200. What is the chemical formula for ozone? Don't Google it. Don't Google. Five, 
Oh, Ooh. my God. Four, I knew that four, one. Three, <laughs> three, two, two one. one. Time's wow. up. Time's Time's up. up. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> boys. H2, H2, O2. H2, O2. H2, O2. I'm sorry to say that no, it's O3. Uh. So, no I points. I knew it. No sorry. points. O3. That's Ozone. Now, girls, we are tight. Okay? 300 and 300. Tight. Tight game. Yeah. So, tie. what okay, does tie. GIF or GIF? Stand for five. So what you're sending what's up, right? Four. I don't three, I I don't understand an animation one. image. I don't understand the question. Time's up. What is an the meaning of the three image. letters? What is the meaning of the three letters? G I F. Oh my god. Every letter has something. <laughs> Graphic no image. Answer? Graphic <laughs> image. <laughs> For fun. <laughs> no. for nice. That was nice. That was a nice try. Graphic images graphic for fun. I like that one. Format. It's really funny. <laughs> it's graphics interchange format. Interchange format. Okay. Mm. So the GIFs are the ones that are moving, right? Okay. So no points. For I'm being, sorry. 100 was difficult. Yeah. <laughs> but 300 for boys was more difficult. No, I think. Ah, but they got help from Blanca. <laughs> they they will they will never forget that Blanca. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. They were zero. One hundred I... boys. How many hearts does an octopus have? <laughs> how many hearts does an octopus I have? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, three. one. Time's up. Two. So three or four, or two. Four. I think that four. I know. So, I'm one so person said four, one guys. person say three. Maybe eight. No answer? Three. Four. <laughs> four. Three. Four. Five. Okay. One person say <laughs> four and two people say three. So three. I take it. Five. 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 Say five. Say five. Say five. The correct answer is yeah. three. Oh, no. yeah. oh. So, oh teacher, that's not fair. I know you the are guy. the champions right now, okay? But uh -huh. you know, deep inside <laughs> well, that, I, I, Blanca I helped, helped you, right? So Yeah, they <laughs> just won, won 100. So, Thank you. It's a tie. It's a tie oh, game. No. We're going to say that it's a tie game because uh, they got a little help, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, they will give Thank you, Blanca 100 points. Uh, no, everybody wins. Okay, so class for everybody. I feel happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I feel happy. You, you got some credits. Okay, Blanca, don't worry. So, <laughs> let's move on. I feel <laughs> that I was in, in Gryffindor and when, when they won points because they helped to the other students. I don't know. <laughs> They're still, okay, to, good. Yeah. Well, really if you don't Harry know about Potter. Gryffindor, sorry, but you need to know about Harry Potter. And so, general knowledge, okay, that, that, that category is good. Now we're going to move on and we're going to get started with a new topic. So, um, wait a second, what time is it? What, my goodness, I'm gonna check the attendance, thank you. Okay, so quickly, uh, I'm going to set an alarm for every activity because it seems like time flies here. Okay, Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Elizabeth. Um, Mariela. Present. Brenda. I'm here. Carla. I'm here. Diana. Floor. I'm here, teacher. Francisco. I'm the new here, student. Charles. Okay. Laura. Present, teacher. Arvin. Also, Freddy's. I think Present he got teacher. a new look. Freddy's. I, I need to. I think, need to I see know. that. Uh, sure. I don't know. I uh, haven't seen everybody. Let me check. Arvin is here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. 
I am here. Karen? Present. Maritza? I am here. Merlin? Not here. Rolando? I'm here. Ruth? Uh, Suleyma? I'm here. Nice. Janari? I'm here. Jackie? I'm here. Blanca? I'm here. And Freddy's. Freddy's, are you there? He had some uh, audio problems, he said. So maybe that's, that's why we cannot listen to him. Now, let's continue. Um, going to go back. So we're going to have this little discussion right now, okay? The objective, uh, as you can see, is to uh, design a basic checklist, okay? A checklist to evaluate a procedure. Uh, what is a checklist, by the way? Uh, okay, Miguel Angel, yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Please, so, uh, with things you have to do. Yeah. It's a list with things you have to do. And That's, you- That is a to-do do list. That, if you do that, you get to put something. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. A to checklist. Be. No, I think that the, that do. what you say is a to-do list. It's a list of things that you have to do. But a checklist is different. I think that checklist is a sheet with instruction that you have to do and check. Okay, you have to do or you have to supervise, right? You have to evaluate. Yeah, to uh -huh. and check. Okay, so for example, if I imagine if I create a, a checklist right now, okay, students are present. Yes, the majority. Uh, students have their camera on. Mm, just 50%, so I might say some. Uh, students are participating. Yeah, the majority. Uh, students don't practice Spanish in class. Well, students practice Spanish in class? Never. Um, so I, I, start, I start evaluating, right? Uh, students have fun with the activities. Always, sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Okay, <laughs> so I'm, I, that's, that would be a checklist for me, right? So I can evaluate different aspects of the class, of, of you, right, uh, of myself, right, etc. Now, we're going to move on, and the questions are two. Uh, let me see. Miguel, can you please read the question number one? Of course. Uh, is there a quality department in your workplace? Okay, thank you. Janari, uh, question number two. Jude. Okay, Janari is not there, so I'm going to ask for help to Mariela. Mm, do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Okay, perfect. So those are the two questions that you're going to discuss. Take a screenshot, memorize them, or have your manual ready, okay? You're going to discuss that in the breakout rooms. I'm going to uh, send you to the same breakout rooms that you were in the last activity, okay? Ready, set, and go. You have two minutes. More, please. Three. More minutes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you are going to discuss, so don't worry. I'm going to give you a round five. That's okay. I'm going to move this person to room number two. Okay, join the breakout room, please. Okay, uh, Brenda, okay, Jennifer, 
Lisette, Laura, Ruth, and who else here? Suleima, you can accept the invitation to join the breakout room and start talking with your partners. Okay, I do not see Brenda. Ready? Okay, so Diana and Jennifer. Jennifer, can you, did you get the invitation to join the breakout room? No? Hello, and Wonder how Woman. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I think that your partner had some problems to join the breakout room. Uh, I was okay. talking to her, but she didn't answer. So uh, let me check if all the rooms are complete. Yeah. So tell me. Uh, is Hello, there Jennifer. Welcome. Ah, there she is. Perfect. Right on time. Okay, Jennifer, is there a quality department in your workplace? Okay. You can start answering Got that it. question. <laughs> ah, Sorry. there she is. Sorry. Okay. Did, did you listen the question? Yeah, I listened the question, but my computer was freeze. Okay. It was frozen. I That's... can't answer. Yes, they pro they monitor and evaluate all procedures that I do. They do. Is a correct teacher? Tell me how. What is a complete sentence? Uh, the 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 second question. Uh huh. Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Your procedures? Uh, I, uh -huh. the procedures? I say to Marixa, yes, in a yes, they monitor mm -hmm. and evaluate all procedures than I do. Okay, perfect. So um, there is a quality department, right? Obviously in your in your work. Yes, yes. Uh, your for example, yes. For example, QC is to encargado. They are in charge. They're in charge to 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 see that the quality of the product is okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If Excellent. the if the if the quality is okay, mm -hmm. they put the the seal. The product is to approval. For example. Yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. And in your workplace, uh, Maritza, is there a quality department? Uh, yes, yes, there. There is. There is, there is. Uh -huh. Yes, there is in in the in the. ¿Cómo se dice fábrica? Factory. Factory. In the factory. In Metapan. Okay. Do you have um, a department of of quality? What? Do you uh -huh. have a quality department? Mm -hmm. She said yes. There is one in, mm -hmm. in Metapan. Uh, do they monitor and evaluate your procedures, uh, Maritza? Do you uh, have someone yes. who monitors you and make evaluations mm -hmm. about you and your work? Hi. Yeah. Like, do you have a supervisor or a, a, a manager or a boss? In the manager in, in the factory. I, mm -hmm. I type in the, the quality report in the mm. office only okay mm -hmm. so but you don't have 
someone who is monitoring your work? No. No. You no. are relaxed, alone. Okay. No. okay. So, so. No, <laughs> in Spanish. Uh -huh. Mi trabajo, como es en gerencia, tengo los ojos de los gerentes sobre, sobre uh -huh. nosotros. Somos seis en el área y son cuatro gerentes. Uh -huh. Maritza aquí, Maritza allá, Maritza aquí, Maritza allá. Uh -huh. Y so you are diferente. you are like like an octopus. Es más, ¿Ah? <laughs> you are like an octopus. No. I don't understand. But do you know how a uh, no, pulpo? Three oh, sí. Yeah, that's an octopus. It has eight tentacles, right? And doing different things. With octopus. Octopus. Yeah, octopus. That's right. Okay, excellent guys. So thank you for sharing the information. I'm going to go back to the, the session and I'm going to close all the rooms. Okay. Okay, see you in a moment. Hey, Freddy's, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I could hear you now. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I, you got a haircut. Now I see <laughs> that. Okay, so I think I need to get a haircut. Oh, what happened now? I can't hear any. What? Everybody has a haircut today. Well, I think I'm missing, but yeah. No, I, don't have, I, don't. I don't have much to cut, but anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't. I love my long hair. <laughs> I, 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 I laugh when I hear about ladies' haircuts because it's just like one centimeter and that's a haircut. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. And, and sometimes, you have to, and you have to, pay, and you have to pay a lot, right? Almost, well, sometimes more than we pay. Uh, yeah, that would be a good way to make money. But let's continue, okay? I'm going mm -hmm. to uh, just raise your hand, raise your hand if you have a quality uh, department in your, in your workplace. Raise your hand if you have a quality department in your workplace. Okay, Janari. Beatriz. Francisco, raise your hand. You have a quality department there. Okay, good, Ruth. Also, so we have four people. Uh, Maritza, you have a quality department in your workplace, so you can raise your hand. We have a, a quality committee. Committee. Committee, uh-huh. Yeah, it counts, yeah. If you have some okay. somebody or an institution that is controlling the quality, you have a quality control, okay? So three, six, seven people say that, okay. Now, uh, we have a certificate. You are cer certified. Okay. So, yes, interesting. It, yes, it's certified. Now, it's on 901. 9, 9, ah, 9, yeah, 9001. Yeah, ISO, ISO. Yes. Uh huh. That's a certification. That's correct. It's an international one. Okay. So, um, raise your hand. Okay. You can lower your hand now. Raise your hand if you have someone who is monitoring and evaluating your work, your individual work. Raise, raise your hand if there is someone who is monitoring you at work or evaluating your work. Okay, so Harbin, Rolando, uh, Francisco, Carla, Mariela, Diana, very good. Uh, Beatriz. Excellent. Okay, nine participants, 10 participants, so Jennifer too. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. Now, uh, we already discussed some questions about that, right? So right now we are going to move on to the next part. Um, here we go. Okay, so we're going to do the exercise number two. What is the indication for this exercise? Um, Jennifer? Sorry? 
teacher, teacher, I couldn't hear you. Read the indication, please. Okay. Please indicate your level of agreement or disagreement. No, the, the well, yeah, in the, with the following statement, but that's, but what are you going to do in exercise number two? What is the general indication? Ah, uh, complete the satisfaction survey using the words in the, in, in the box. Complete the satisfaction survey, okay, survey. Uh, that is the pronunciation for that word. I tell you that because when I learned, when I started learning English, uh, one teacher told me survey. So I said survey, 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 survey. And then after some years, another teacher said survey. And I was like, okay, so it's survey or survey? And he showed me in a dictionary, it's survey. So um, just to clarify, right? The pronunciation of the word. Survey, that would be a encuesta, right? So using the words in the box, what are the words in the box? Um, let me ask. Uh, bring the floor. Laura. What are the, the five words that you're going to use to complete the, the, the survey? Laura? I, I don't understand because- You read I the five words? Yeah. Seated. Just read, just read the five words, please. Dishes. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Seated. Dishes. Dining. 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 Taking. Server. Server. Okay. So right now, please Dining, uh, complete taking, the server. Uh -huh, and server. So please complete the the exercise, the survey with the five words. Write them in the correct blank. So write down the number and the word that you think is correct. So you have number one, two, three, four, and number seven. Okay, right in your notebook, I give you two minutes maximum. We have to organize the words and do the survey. Just, just right now, just complete the, the the blanks. Fill in the blanks with the five words. So you write down the number and the word that you think goes in that number, in that space. Okay, 10 more seconds, nine, eight. Wait, please. More time, okay, I'll give you 30 seconds. Wait a second, I'm going to reestablish. There you go, 30 seconds. Just write the number and the word that you think is in that number. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Number one, um, Rolando, 
What do you have for number one? Um, no, I don't know, teacher. I don't. I you don't, don't have know. that one. Okay. Uh, choose someone, please. Uh, Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Perfect. What do you I have for number I'm one? Fernando, uh, I think that is we were seated properly. Seated. Okay, do you agree or disagree with that answer, guys? Agree. Agree. You agree. Okay, I agree I too. Agree. <laughs> I agree. It's correct. We were seated promptly. Okay, thank you so much. Juan Jose, choose someone for the number two, please. Beatrice. Beatrice. Anna. Thank you, Juan Jose. The server was there to take our order quickly. The server were, was there. The server was there to take our order quickly. Do you think that is correct or not? Yeah. It is correct? Yes. Mm, I have a doubt. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know, maybe the issues? Uh, no, the no, dishes is, case, is the answer for wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, so <laughs> in this case server is correct because yeah. take the order right who takes okay. the order the waiter or the server okay. that's correct so yes good job now uh beatrice choose someone for a number three please jennifer 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 Thanks. The server was friendly and patient when taking the order. When taking the order, let me check. So. Yeah. I agree. Is this right <laughs> or wrong? I agree. It's you right. agree. She's perfectly right. right. Yeah, perfectly yeah. right. So yes, friendly and patient when taking our order. Okay, number four. Uh, Jennifer, select someone. Diana. Oh. Diana. Our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. The timing of the dishes. Okay. Um, what do you think about that answer? It's correct. It's correct. So we're going to put, place a little check here. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. What about number seven? Diana, choose someone, please. I choose um, Karen. Karen. Number seven is considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. Our dining experience uh, was a good value. Okay, our dining experience was a good value. Okay, wait a second, I'm going to erase one this one so i can write it down in the right place so you take the screenshot perfect ah the same thing okay the same place so that's okay um now uh, we're missing two more okay number five and number six uh who do you choose karen for number five um i choose uh, Jarvin. Okay, Harbin, are you there? Harbin. We lost Harbin. It's not there. Okay. Just someone so, else. Uh, Laura. Okay. Laura, number five, please. The server was able to answer all our questions. Correct. And choose someone to read the number six, please. Overall, the service was excellent. Okay, you choose yourself, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So overall, the service was excellent. Now, what are you going to do with this, okay? You are going to... Uh, practice you're going to practice a uh, with a partner thinking about uh, an experience that you had when you went to a restaurant okay any experience one that you remember okay 
So your classmate is going to ask you, right? Uh, were you were you seated promptly? And you say like, no, I strongly disagree. Number one. So uh, was the server there to take the order quickly? Yes. Okay, agree or strongly agree, right? So you're going to act like if you are, uh, let's suppose part of the quality department, right? And the restaurant, and you are asking the questions to one of the customers. So that's what you're going to do right now. So it's, a going, it's going to be a little speaking activity where you're going to ask and answer the questions. When you finish, you can answer the questions from the other partner, right? So exchanging experiences. Okay, for example, if, um, if you ask me, right, the question number one, what would be the question? I'm going to tell you about one experience that I had in a restaurant last week. I went to a place here in San Miguel that is called Terraza del Volcán. It's a beautiful place. Uh huh. Were you seated promptly? Were you seated promptly? Mm, yes, actually, I had a reservation. So, yes, I strongly agree. Number two. Was the server? Ask me a question. Right now, you are we are practicing. You are asking me the questions, right? So that you will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You was the server there? Was the server there to take your order quickly? Uh, not really. Uh, it took about twenty minutes. So mm, I would say two. I disagree. Oh. Mm -hmm. Number three. Um, was the server friendly and patient when taking your order? Uh, yes, he was very patient and friendly. So number, I would give him a four. Number four. Did, did the server coordinate the timing of the dishes perfectly? I think so. Yeah, it was fast. So, yeah, uh, strongly agree. Okay. Uh, was the server all able. able to answer able to answer your questions? Yes, he answered all my questions. Okay. Um, was the service excellent? I would say yes. Yeah, it was excellent. What about your speeding? Was uh, good value? Was a good value? Totally. Strongly agree. So that's what you're going to do, okay? That I told you my experience going to Terraza del Volcan last weekend, right? So okay. that's what you're going to do in purse, right? So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. You are going to have exactly 10 minutes maximum, right? So you have to ask all the questions and then you have to answer all the questions, okay? To complete the checklist, right? With the survey of satisfaction, the satisfaction survey. So, ready, set, yes. go. Okay, Brenda, Laura, Yanari, I said the invitation to go to the breakout room, please. Laura, Janari, okay, perfect. Janari and Elizabeth, you are missing. 
number six. Hello, hello. Is anybody there? Just me, teacher. Hmm? Just you. Yeah, that's what I saw. Um, I think Janar is not connected yet. So, um, well, in this case, I will have to ask you, right? Because I already answered my my own survey. Uh, okay. So, what what experience? What restaurant do you remember that you went to? recently or in the past okay um last weekend i went to a restaurant there um near to the beach and near the, the beach? service was yeah it was very good the only thing is that i was watching that the uh, waitress was forgetting give you like when you ask for a drink he doesn't give you the but i don't know how to say that in english straw straw, straw. S T R A W. Uh -huh, straw. straw. And sometimes the uh, cutter, the, the fork and the knife, like that. The oh utensils? God. Sorry? Uh -huh, the utensils. Uh -huh, the fork, the knife, the, the spoon. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Yeah, he sometimes forgot that, but everything else was good. Okay, so um, let me check. I will play it for you. You can listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Etymology from Middle English utensil, what? Old French utensil. Now, so the stress in yeah, utensil. <laughs> uh, now we're going to. I'm not sure if Ruth is able to speak. But just in case she's not, because I think she's working, but she's listening to us, I'm going to uh, ask you the questions. So the first one is, um, were, were you seated promptly in that place? Uh, more or less, maybe 40 minutes. We have to wait for 40 minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a long wait. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I, it's a long. We, we will give it a. Let me check. Two. <laughs> okay. So, um, was well, was the server there to take your order quickly? Yeah, he was very quickly to get the order but not to give it back. So that would be a three or a four? Um, three. Three, yeah. Uh, was the server friendly and patient when taking your order? Yeah, four. Um, the, the server coordinated the time of the of the, let me check, of the dishes perfectly? Disagree. Disagree. Two, Two mm -hmm. okay. Uh, was server ab able to answer all your questions? Yeah, that strongly agree. Okay. Uh, overall, was the service excellent? Three. Three. Uh, considering everything, uh, was your experience a uh, uh, good value? Three. Three. Any suggestions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, maybe they could make, uh, they could bring the food uh, faster than the time they were taking to bring the food. And maybe they could improve the menu for children. Maybe because it's just like pot fried potatoes and a uh, type of hamburger that just have meat and cheese. I don't think that is good to, that just for children. Okay. Uh, 
And well, I think that that would be all about this survey. I mm -hmm. bet, I, well, I suppose that your classes are going to take a little bit longer, right? But so we're going to give him uh, probably one more minute or two. Well, yeah, that would be like two, because uh, in this case, you didn't ask me, right? So that would take us more time. Um, but just to practice, I'm going to think mm -hmm. about another restaurant that I went to and you can ask me the questions. Okay. Okay, ask me, please. I will okay. tell you about um, La Tartaleta. That is a bakery and restaurant, the Bistro Gourmet place that we have here in Samuel. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Which part exactly of San Miguel do you live? Near downtown. Ah, San okay. Miguel, San Miguel, the city of San Miguel. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the main city. Yeah, I could say that. Yeah. That's good. Wait a second. I know wait a that. second. We lost connection with. Okay, so I'm going to move. Uh, Beatriz here, so you can ask her the questions. Mm -hmm. okay. Hello, Beatriz. Hello. I think, I think you have problems, right, with uh, with your partner. So, yeah. Okay, so Brenda is going to ask you the questions, okay? Okay. <laughs> what restaurant Hi, did you go to? Hi. <laughs> Okay, tell me about your experience of one restaurant that you went before. Uh, last Saturday, I went to to Mr. Donut. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just finished to answer the questions. Okay. That Sorry for your picture because we don't cook. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I don't I don't cook the picture. <laughs> no problem, no problem. You're first. Yeah, we we will finish the questions. So I will talk about the to my bad experience in Avis Pupuseria Avis. Okay. Yeah, it was awful. So did you ask her the questions? Did you ask Maritza the questions about her experience? Yeah, I was to, to do right now this. Okay, 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 perfect. So you have two more minutes. Okay, okay. Your face. Yes, uh, it's because the, the McDonald's, for example, you give the, the meals, uh, uh, and there, there are not um, service for waiter, for example. I think that yes. not. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it was really friendly, as I told you before. And he helped us with the dessert because my cookers, uh, they, they had a, a dessert for us. Okay. And it was a cake, actually. A cake. How do you say the the table are in in not good place? Because in my case, the the, the place was full, full. So oh. the Mm -hmm. So the table that we have to sit or, or we have to shoot was near to a tree. Near oh, a tree. Tree. Near to near a tree. Ah, and the tree had birds. No, no, no okay. but but they 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 do like shows, dance, mm -hmm. uh, mariachis, and things like that. So uh, the tree was tapando, <laughs> covering, covering, blocking, yeah, blocking your, blocking. Yes. Uh, blocking. your, your sight. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. So that table 
maybe don't have to be there. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't be there, but maybe because of the pandemic, right? They have they have to move everything. Or, okay, or maybe they, they just want to have more people. Have to, <laughs> yes, have, maybe how do you say? <laughs> how do you say? say teacher aprovechar? Take advantage. Take advantage. Take advantage I'll of. Take, I'll take advantage of the space and mm -hmm. of, um, of the so, date I consider. Exactly. Yes, it's good because the. Hi, teacher. Teacher, Hello, I did have, you finish? I yeah, but we I have, have a question. A, what you? is the question? Yeah, we well, well, in my case, I don't know how to make a question from state number, number seven. Seven. Yeah, I don't know how to make a question. So for number seven, you can say, well, considering everything, um, was your experience, uh, your dining experience, a uh, good value? Was your dining experience Teacher, a good value? Yeah. Was. Was, was your dining experience your... a good value? So you use the was at the beginning, right? It's a yes, no question. Was your uh, your dining ah. experience a good value? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it's yes or not. Ah, exactly. Um, yeah. How, how to make an, uh, a question when we have, when you can say more that yes or not? Uh, that's a WH question. Ah, you can ask oh, what, uh, where, when, uh, uh, what was your experience, right? Uh, okay. uh, what was your dining experience like? So you uh, can make a description, right, of the experience. Uh, what, what was, what was your experience? Your experience like. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Thank You're you. welcome. Hey teacher, how do you say combo but in English? Combo. Combo? <laughs> Did you say combo. The same? with the O, oh. uh -huh, O sound combo. Combo. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes in English. Use it's the translator, funny because it... but uh, I was like, I uh, I don't think so. It's combo. Yeah, combo. I mean sometimes the translations are so obvious that you are like Oh, how did uh -huh. I know that? Uh, <laughs> I how did I know so. that? Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> but sometimes are very sophisticated, very difficult, right? Like sophisticated uh -huh. translation, like I don't know. But we be uh, for the we be for the that that word don't, doesn't exist in English. What? Which one? Combo. 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 Combo doesn't exist. I don't I don't know to be honest with you because uh there is a one word for example that is bundle. Bundle is uh when you buy and different bundle, products. Bundle, yeah. When you buy different products uh, for a price, right? Like a like a mm -hmm. combination of different products, a computer, a mouse, mm -hmm. they give you the headphones and it's a bundle. So it's like a package, right? But uh a yeah. restaurant bundle doesn't match. Uh, so it's, combo. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a musical yeah, or, or group the, teacher. A <laughs> yeah, or uh, they just say the men menu number one or menu two, and like they know that they have a number, right? So, which menu do you want? So that you choose the one. Um, now, uh, did everybody finish the survey? Yeah. The satisfaction survey? Yes. yes. Group yeah. number one yeah. 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 Uh, was Blanca and Maritza. You finished, right? Yes. Room three, Diana and Jennifer. Yeah, we did. Harvin and Juan Jose. Yes. Yes. Finish. Perfect. Carla and Rolando. Yes. yes. Redis and Miguel. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Floor and Jackie. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes. Beatriz and Brenda. Yes, teacher. And Mariela with Karen. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
You are amazing, guys. So uh, I'm just going to double check right your attendance, even though I already, well, I already listened to you right now. So uh, I can I can double check that you are here right now. So I'm just going to mention, right, that um, we are just missing one exercise from this topic that is, uh, that we're going to complete it tomorrow at the beginning of the session. Okay, so it's just a discussion about the surveys and about the different ways in which people can use, uh, like, let's say, different strategies to evaluate, right? The, the, or to help the, the employees to have or to perform their procedures in a better way. So um, we're going to have that discussion. We're going to do it tomorrow at the beginning. And uh, right now, I just have to mention that uh, you have been discussing today, right? The importance of the pro evaluating procedures. And uh, as a summary, based on what you were explaining, uh, the importance of these procedures or these evaluations are to improve some aspects in the work that we do, in the products that we produce or the service that we provide. So uh, it should be something that the majority or everybody should be accustomed to, right? Because when they tell you, hey, you're not doing this in a good way, or you could do this in this way, is with the purpose of uh, helping you, right? Do your work in a more efficient, or in a faster way, or in a, in a better way, or in an easier way. So um, in general, I think that evaluations or having some procedure uh, like surveys or different strategies are good. Like for example, at the end of this course, you are going to be evaluating me and that is one with a survey. So that is a process that the, the, the company, right? The institution, has to check how the teacher worked, okay, throughout the, the course. So um, do you have any questions or comments before finishing today's session? Mm. Nope. It was really fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> okay, so don't worry, Blanca, you are forgiven. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, I, I just forget that. <laughs> Oh, they have forgotten about that. I'm sorry, I brought it up again. Well, uh, well I, 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 have what happened. A, I have a bad memory, and really, I was forget that. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow you will forget it, so don't worry. Uh, we're going yeah, to talk yeah. about Cheyenne and Scarlett Johansson, so everybody will forget about that. Uh, <laughs> now, we're going well, to... Chris not Chris Evans. Okay, so I'm sorry. Blanca prefers Chris Evans than Cheyenne. So, um, <laughs> Captain America, in case you don't like the, the Avengers. Okay, so uh, that's basically all for today. I hope that you have a good night. And remember that tomorrow we have the last session. Uh, you need to catch up with the assignments, with the evaluation. That is the midterm. And... Um, make sure, right, that you keep control of your attendance, okay? Uh, because in average, I think that you can miss, what, two or, well, three sessions in a course that is five weeks. That is like about 20%. I'm not so sure. My numbers is not my specialty, to be honest, okay? Uh, okay, so uh, if you don't have any questions, have an amazing night. I just want to confirm or make sure that Suleyma or Elizabeth are here or can listen to me. No. So wait a second. I'm going with the plan B. So uh, if they are not here for the, the extra minutes, I'm going to ask. Let me check. Fernando, Mariela, okay, Morlin, Lisette, Suleyma, Miguel Angel. Uh, are you able to stay uh, for the extra 10 minutes? Yes, it's sure, not a problem. Okay, perfect. So 
Thank you guys. See you tomorrow in the final day of this week. We we did it, almost did it. And we have a party tomorrow, don't forget. Okay, so Fridays are awesome and the body knows that. So um, take care of yourself, guys. Uh, blessings. Okay. And a virtual, a virtual hug for everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye Brenda. Bye. Good Bye. Thank you, Freddy's. Appreciate Bye, it. Bye, Michael. Michelangelo. Bye, Rolando. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here teacher. we are. Teacher, I have a question about the last class. Mm -hmm. For example, the wool will be better. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, when exactly I can use? uh this this part would be better okay excellent question actually uh, if you want to to listen a uh, very specific explanation uh you can take mm -hmm. a look at the end of the video uh mm -hmm. so i didn't have anybody uh for the 10 minutes i explained i explained this so um we use would be better when as you can see in the definition, uh, to express a strong advice or suggestion. So uh, let's suppose that you are married, right? Are you married? Yes, yes, yes I am okay. married. So let's suppose that your wife is cooking, I don't know, a, a, a lot of, uh, fried food right oh, fried okay. chicken fried mm -hmm. meat fried rice fried tortillas fried everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with no yes. vegetables no fruit no natural i mean no fresh mm -hmm. uh, food okay. right and okay. no soup no salad so in in that moment you think hmm, this is not healthy for me right or for mm -hmm. her or for the children so yes, in that yes. moment you can use that hey um you can say hey i think it would be better uh, mm -hmm. to cook uh, soups at least once a week or to it would be better to add a fruit or vegetable salad to to the menu right to for lunch uh, because okay. it's healthy for us so in that moment you are giving a suggestion right okay. it would be better uh, always always is a suggestion teacher always yeah always always okay Perfect. a suggestion an alternative an option mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. like that and then mm -hmm, exactly and then you have other other uh the the question right the question mm -hmm. is would it be better mm -hmm. would it be better to eat outside or at home on the weekend what do you mm -hmm. think would it be better right mm -hmm. and then she will give you the option the, the the answer i think it would be better to eat at home because outside it's dangerous and it's more expensive so that's a, a question right and another question is negative wouldn't negative. it be better? Wouldn't it be better to stay home this weekend and maybe go out at the end of the month when we get paid? Yeah, that's a good option. I mm -hmm. agree with you. So in that moment, you can use that question. But okay. there are alternatives. What are the alternatives? Would you prefer? Okay, would you prefer? So for example, would you prefer pizza or hamburger mm -hmm. for lunch? And you say, oh, I prefer, I would prefer, uh, or I prefer uh, hamburgers, right? That's okay. if you offer two alternatives, okay? okay? But if you want to offer an action, for example, uh, would you prefer uh, doing exercise, exercises tonight or watching TV? So uh, would you prefer doing exercise or watching TV. 
So it can be an action. You can say prefer and the verb with ing. Do you prefer cooking or washing dishes? Do you prefer running or walking? But okay. you can also use prefer with infinitive mm -hmm. to plus the verb. For example, would you prefer to visit your family this weekend or my family? Would you prefer to watch a movie, a romantic movie or an action movie? Would you prefer okay. to study English or French? So that's how you use the question, okay? okay. okay. Uh, and the last one is, uh, it would be good if, uh, so in this case, what I was telling your classmates is that it's like a condition. Mm -hmm. So uh, for example, uh, it's a con the second condition that is something that is not real, something that is not possible, or it's not easy to, to do. Uh, it would be good if we, uh, for example, in this, in this course, right? And you say uh, some people have problems with the, with the computer or with the cell phone. It would be good if Inglés Corporativo gave us a tablet or a computer for the course. So uh, you were saying, right? Sería yes. bueno que nos dieran mm -hmm. una computadora o una tablet para el curso. Yes. So it's not something very possible, right? Because you know it's expensive and a lot of mm -hmm. students, so it's not really possible. So yes. it's something that you like express an opinion, right? It would be good if we uh, had, if we had uh, just one hour uh, class every day mm -hmm. it would be good if we had si tuviéramos. so for this structure this particular structure we use the simple past okay so it would be good if if uh you for example if you went to the united states and practice with a lot of people there mm -hmm. uh, practice english with a lot of people there it would be good if you went sería bueno que si fuera Estados Unidos mm -hmm. practicar con un montón de gente en inglés. Mm -hmm. So uh, we use a simple past. It's not, it would be good if we go. No, it would be good if we went. So we use the simple past in okay. this is, in this alternative. Okay. It's the same when I I talk good about uh, in my jobs. For example, it would uh -huh. be good if I take a, a long rest, for example. It would be good if we, uh, if I we, took, we we take we take we took uh, in the past we took in the past yes yeah take we took 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 took, mm -hmm. took excuse me took it would uh, be good if we took a long rest for example a, a long rest yeah yes it would be good <laughs> okay so yeah okay. that's the way it is okay perfect I I understand this part. Okay, any other okay. questions? Uh, well, uh, the question is uh, for the transition expression. Mm -hmm. uh, how many transition uh, we, we can use? For example, I, I know uh, first, then, after that, uh, later, and finally, I know I don't know if uh, more transition expression. Yeah, I mean there are many many transition you can you you have next, in addition, in addition to that, mm. uh, moreover, besides that, besides. Mm, uh, okay. The, the, yeah, more, so. the, the most common is is like, uh, for example, last, first, uh, first, then, then after, after that. yeah, next. Uh -huh. Those okay. are the most common. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. And yeah, and the fi finally, lastly. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a conclusion. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I I I think 
uh, y2 the expression is is only uh, only uh, for example the show me the the manual mm -hmm. i think i think i took only that uh-huh no, no, there are many options, it's, it's, many right. options. There are many, okay. Yeah, but we studied the most common, right? We're the basic ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. perfect, perfect teacher. Now, thank you for well, staying. Well, well, you're welcome teacher. Thank you uh, for teach me uh, this part. Okay, and, my pleasure. <laughs> and thank you, thank you for uh, teach all my classmate. Nah, you're, you're <laughs> very welcome. I, I enjoy doing okay. it. So okay. have a good night yeah. and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night, you. Okay. Bye-bye, Miguel. Okay. Okay. See you. Have see you. a uh, good night. Okay. Good night. <laughs>